sentenced to 15 years in prison. Mr. Wu is in his home in Mil Milpitas, California this morning. Mr. Wu, good morning and welcome home. Good morning. I will take the opportunity to say thank you very much. Thanks for American government and thank you very much for the American people supporting me when I was in jail in China. Mr. Wu, you were in prison for two months and you were denied medication you needed for your leg. Let me ask you first, physically, how are you doing? Oh, well, my leg is not good because Chinese uh, government take away my medicine and my leg is uh, kind of uh, disabled today. You were, last week, as we know, tried, convicted, and sentenced to 15 years in prison for spying, but instead of being packed off to prison, you were packed off onto an airplane home. Did Chinese officials say anything to you or tell you why this was happening? Well, they told me all the time, say, I'm simply, it's a criminal case. Nothing can relate with po politics or international affairs. With I'm a criminal, that's it. And that was it? They just sent you home? No, this, uh, they, they deport me. Uh, There's a funny thing is uh, because the major sentence is 15 years and the additional sentence is deportation. And I say, I'm ready for the 15 years. And no, 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 he, you don't understand American uh, Chinese procedure. We take the additional sentence first. We deport you right away. Within 24 hours of your release, the White House announced that Mrs. Clinton would be visiting China. Some in this country say or view this as a cynical move by China to get Mrs. Clinton to visit. How do you feel about that? First of all, Women Conference holding China, uh, it, it is a very important uh, conference. But I think everybody includes Mrs. Clinton aware her appearance in China will give Chinese government a lot of credit and become a part of their propaganda. So I would suggest if she decide to go, I really hope she can bravely, publicly, and frankly, denounce Chinese log system and put a Chinese human rights abuse issue in front of Chinese communist government. But the White House has said that Mrs. Clinton, while commenting on human rights in general, will not meet with Chinese leaders and will not comment specifically on Chinese human rights violations. My case didn't go away. My case just like a, an, a, an incident for the people see how the Chinese government do to me and also do to hundreds and thousands of Chinese citizens. They still serve their suffering and in Chinese forced labor camp. On if, we cannot, if we ignore that, if ignoring the human rights violations in the United States, in China, that will be terrible. On Sunday, Chinese and American officials announced plans to begin planning a fall presidential summit. Are you at all concerned that China is being rewarded for your imprisonment and ultimate release? Why should they get the reward? I don't, I don't understand why the, why the people have, to, have this kind of sense. They are illegally detained me, and they're also against their own law. I was spent 66 days over there, and they torture me all the time. You were, in fact, told while you were in prison that you were being treated than the other prisoners because you were an American citizen. Can you tell me, describe the conditions? For example, I was escorted to a secret prison. Nobody knows where's the location. I was surrounded by about 30 to 40 policemen. And in a small room, only three by four square meters, there's a three policemen look over me 24 hours. Even I go to the to toilet, even go to the bathroom. You were never alone? Yeah, I can go to the toilet, but they stand beside me in two meters. They were with you at all times? They threatened me. At the beginning, say, well, we, we inform your American government that, but sorry, that's a no any response. And they mentioned the case in Singapore, the whip American teenage person. They say, you, you do remember that's the case? We also can take that.
And you do remember, we defeat American imperialism in Korea and in Vietnam. You have said that during the two months that you were in prison, there was only one very bad moment, and it was after you were shown a videotape, and in that videotape was a picture of your wife, Ching Li. Can you tell me about that, please? You see, the most hard time for me is try to avoid to thinking about family. I cannot get in over there. If I get over there, it's really hurt me and really can, you know, destroy me. So I always talk, about, talk to myself, stop it, stop it. Don't think about it. Don't think about it. Don't cry. Don't think, don't think about you have a lovely wife. But one day, in, I remember the day is uh, July 30th, the policeman showed me a British videotape, and my wife suddenly appeared on the screen. And I said, well, I have to do something I, I, I point out. Please stop over there. Oh, Jesus, that's, uh, that's the only time I, I, I saw my wife. When I come back, I cover my face with uh, with a T-shirt, mm -hmm. and the guard take away the she said, what are you doing? I said, well, I just want to sleep. I don't want to show them. I have the tears running down. Mr. Wu, you have dedicated much of your adult life exposing abuses in the prison, Chinese prison system. Will you continue with your work, and will you try and return to China? First of all, China is my birthplace. And my brother's, my parents' graveyard, my former inmate's graveyard uh, is still over there. And the soil of the China, China, China is full of my blood and tears. I don't have the right to turn my back to them. And I was thinking about that. I do remember the first day the, the Chinese police questioned me, say, why you come back? I said, this is my, this is my land. I want to barrel myself over here. And I think everybody in the world have to know not only Soviet Russia have a gulag system, China oh, have a same kind communist slavery system. They call this a logai system. Sounds to me, Mr. Wu, like you plan to continue your work. I will come back and I will go back any chance. I right. will not give up. No way. Harry Wu, thank you so much for being with us this morning, and best of luck with your recovery. Thank you. Next, another Republican announces for president today, but first, this is today.